Hey and they, I'm Daisy. And I'm Fitz. And this is the weekly report for Monday, April 15th through Thursday, April 21st. We are in the middle of April. Spring has sprung. The sun is shining. Earth Day is near. And... Yeah, we have Star Test, APs, and Back to School Night. Well now, you're getting ahead of yourself. Our first story is that we are now in the middle of Earth Week. Each day we'll be doing our part to conserve resources and save the Earth, leading up to Earth Day next Monday, April 22nd. Flyer, flyers are posted explaining each day. Before Earth Day, our MA baseball team is having its annual car show. Come to the PAC parking lot this Saturday, April 20th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Check out all the classic whips, rides, and scrapers and support your baseball team while doing so. There will be music, barbecue, and more. Admission is free. That's this Saturday, April 20th from 8 to 2. Does your band have what it takes? Come find out at Battle of the Bands. There is a mandatory meeting for Battle of the Bands this Friday, April 19th in B21 at lunch. The meeting is mandatory and will cover sign-ups, tryouts, and re requirements for participation. Next week, we'll begin start testing, which means some big schedule changes for the next two weeks. Next Monday, April 22nd, sophomores will take their life science testing during first and second period. All 10th graders will report to the same class they took their KC test for those periods. If you can't remember, you'll be receiving a notice this week. Then, on Wednesday and Thursday, April 24th and 25th, and the next Wednesday and Thursday, all 10th, 9th, and 11th graders will report to their third period class at 845, and will have testing until 1155 the first week and 1045 the second week. The remaining day will be a modified block schedule and still have an odd periods Wednesday and evens on Thursday. They'll just be shorter. If you have zero period, you are still showing up at school at 745 for your zero period class. So essentially, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors have no late starts for the next two weeks and are expected to be here at 845 each day. Seniors, during those testing days, you will, be get, you will get to sleep in. Yeah. However, you have a mandatory meeting Thursday, April 25th at 11 a.m. to go over graduation end of the year activities. Seniors, did you get that? Next Wednesday, April 24th, be at your first period at 12.30. Next Thursday, and April 25th, in the PAC at 11 a.m. Everyone else, be here at 8.40 every day. Still confused? Ask your third period teacher. And now, to sports. And boy, do we have a lot of them. Today, the 15th, our softball team plays against Mercy High, and our boys' tennis team has a match against our rivals, Sacred Heart Prep. Both events start at 4. On Wednesday, boys lacrosse has another heated match against Menlo at Menlo at 4. And the baseball faces Cappuccino here at MA at the same time. And Thursday, our track team hosts Westmore at 3. And boys tennis and girls softball both have matches at 4. And on Friday, girls lacrosse square off against rivals at Menlo High at 4. While MA baseball plays Cappuccino again. Let's go get them bears. MA, you know? Woo! Lots of athletics going on. And as we become sporty, our administration would like to remind us not to look too sporty. As it gets hotter, be sure to wear school appropriate attire or face the consequences. Our last announcement is open house is coming. Encourage your parents, family, and friends to come down and check out MA. Thursday, April 25th from 6.45 to 8.30 p.m. Meet our amazing teachers and see classes show off their work and discuss their curriculum. Hey Fitz, did you know what open house on Thursday means? What? Minimum day on Friday. That's right. April 26th, Friday, we have a minimum day, which means we all get out at 12.20. That wraps it up for us here at MA and the weekly report for April 15th to the 20th. I'm Daisy Cuevas. And I'm Fitzgerald Johnson, signing off. Go Giants. Have a great day, MA.